Based on our regular economic and monetary analysis, and in line with our forward guidance, we decided to keep the key ECB interest rates unchanged. As regards non-standard monetary policy measures, the focus is now on implementation. Following up on our decisions of 22 January 2015, we will, on 9 March 2015, start purchasing euro-denominated public sector securities in a secondary market. We will also continue purchasing asset-backed securities and covered bonds, which we started last year. As previously stated, the combined monthly purchases of public and private securities will amount to 60 billion. They are intended to be carried out until the end of September 2016 and will, in any case, be conducted until we see a sustained adjustment in the path of inflation which is consistent with our aim of achieving inflation rates below, but close to 2% over the medium term. According to Eurostat's flash estimate, real GDP in the euro area rose by 0.3% quarter on quarter in the last quarter of 2014, which was somewhat higher than previously expected. The latest economic data, and particularly survey evidence available up to February, point to some further improvements in economic activity at the beginning of this year. Looking ahead, we expect the economic recovery to broaden and strengthen gradually. The low level of the price of oil should continue to support households' real disposable income and corporate profitability. According to Eurostat's flash estimate, euro area annual HICP inflation was minus 0.3% in February 2015, after minus 0.6% in January. The negative outcomes largely reflect the impact of the significant fall in oil prices since July 2014. On the basis of current information and prevailing futures price for oil, annual HICP inflation is expected to remain very low or negative in the months ahead.